Now that Iraq is a sovereign nation, U.S. forces play a very different role in the war effort. Meet First Lieutenant Nicholas Davis. Lieutenant Davis is a platoon leader who conducts key leader engagements, or KLEs, often. KLEs are just a fancy term for saying a formal business meeting between U.S. forces and local officials. So and they'll, we'll sit down, we'll have chai or coffee, and sometimes they'll bring out some food, which is always pretty nice. And their food generally is pretty good. Their chai and their coffee is delicious. Today, Lieutenant Davis is meeting with a sheikh in a village called Talismar. The sheikh is a leader of a group in his area known as the Concerned Local Citizens, or CLCs. U.S. forces used to pay CLCs, but now that is the responsibility of the Iraqi Ministry of Defense. Most CLCs aren't being paid right now. That is the first topic up for discussion. It's getting harder and harder for the government of Iraq to pay the CLC because of their economy has been down and like oil is half the price it used to be like a year ago so I'm, I'm sure he's already heard us before but he, to please be patient with uh, the Iraqi government you know slowly but surely they'll start uh, piecing every place together. After many topics were discussed like forming a new chicken business to bring 20 more jobs in the area and restoring water to farmers the sheikh served breakfast Lieutenant Davis says it is hard to hear of simple things people need and not be able to just help them. It's not bad, but it, it is hard, you know, that you wish you could do more. And Because Iraq's not what it was two years ago where coalition forces were really taking care of everything. And now it, it's the Iraqi government that's really taking control. Let's go. Private First Class Eric Meisenhelder is a point man for his platoon. He has seen his share of KLEs as well. Today, his platoon is meeting with Iraqi police to set up future training and a measure for security barriers that will be placed outside the Iraqi compound. We usually come and see what, if there's anything we can do to help and we get an idea of uh, you know, what kind of activity has been going on in the city. And uh, we take it back to the base and we go from there and uh, that determines what uh, our next mission is when we come back out here. PFC Meisenhelder says he doesn't mind there not being a lot of combat action. He says that just means that progress is being made. He believes that Iraq still holds plenty of excitement. It's uh, definitely, definitely an adventure out here all the time. So it's it's always something new, and that's what I like when every time I come out, is it's always something new. So you know, people are very friendly and they're very nice. So. PFC Meisenhelder isn't always involved firsthand with the planning and business meetings to discuss development. However, he feels involved in Iraq's progress just as much as anyone. Every time I come out here, it's, uh, you, you can see the uh, progress being built up. Uh, if, it, if, if it's something small from just uh, giving them water to, uh, just like today, but, you know, seeing if they need supplies like plywood to uh, you know, rebuild and restart Blue over, on, definitely. And I feel like I, yeah, it's a definitely accomplishing something. It's, it's, you know, the small things all add up. From the 145 MPAD and reporting for Task Force Lightning, I'm Specialist Christopher Bruce.